All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about bilateral filtering in OpenCV using Python. So we'll start off by saying what it is, why you need it, how does it work, and jump straight into a coding example. So by the end of this video, we'll see how we could transform this image here on the left to this image here on the right. So if you look closely, you might notice something special about this filter, but I'll explain what's happening. Okay, so what is bilateral filtering? It's a technique that uses a kernel based on color intensity and spatial information. So by using the combination of these two things, we could actually preserve the edges. So why do we need bilateral filtering? So like I said, you could preserve edges while removing noise. So if you notice here, the outline of the car is actually still pretty good. And it's blurring like individual parts of the image separately. Okay, so that might be useful in some cases where edge is important. So how does it work? Um, if you imagine here on the left, here is like an edge, and the, between the edge is noise. That's what all these little bumps are. We apply this bilateral filter, and then what you get is uh, edge preserved, but the noise is smoothed out. So to get this special bilateral um, filter, you actually have a combination of two kernels. So one kernel is like the Gaussian filter, and then this other kernel is uh, it's like a spatial filter that's um, amplifies the edges because there's like this step here. So when you combine these two filters, you get this like half Gaussian looking filter that could actually remove noise and still amplify the edges, therefore preserving the edge. So mathematically, you have this equation here where you have this component, which is um, based on the intensity that will that is similar to your Gaussian here. Um, based on the weights and then you have this spatial part here which will preserve your edge. So let's go ahead and jump into a coding example. Okay so as usual we're gonna go ahead and import the modules that we need. So we have import cv2 as cv, we have import os, import numpy as mp, and then import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And we're gonna make our function called uh, bilateral uh, filtering here, and then we have an if uh, name equals main, and it's going to be called bilateral filtering. So inside of our bilateral filtering, we're going to read in our image os dot um, os dot get cwd, and then we have our image path equals os dot path dot join, and we have our root demo images, and then we pass in our tesla.jpg. Okay, and inside of here we have image equals cv.umread, and then we're gonna pass in our image path. Then we want to convert to RGB equals cv.cvt color, and we have our image here, and then cv.color, bgr to RGB. So now um, our image is kind of big, so we're gonna resize it just so that um, for the bilateral filter, there's this component in there that's very sensitive to the size and the bigger it is, the longer it'll take. So we'll show you what that is all about. So let's quickly resize our height and um, width. So to get that, we need to have the shape um, of our image here. And then our scale factor, I uh, need to have an equal sign here. So our scale factor, we're gonna scale it by one fourth, and then we have our width equals um, cast it into um, the integer, and then times the scale, and then we'll do the same thing for the height here. Okay, so once we do that, we could go ahead and uh, scale our image using the cv dot resize, and we'll pass in our original image and then our width and height. Okay, so this is our new image. Now to apply the filter, we use the bilateral filter function. So we'll call this image filter equals cv dot bilateral filter. And then we have our original image. And then this D value here is like the amount of neighbors that we're trying to filter. Uh, if you want real time, you might want to choose that as a smaller number. And then our sigma space is uh, value to choose um, like how much filtering essentially. So smaller, less, bigger, more. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create a figure to see what's happening. So plt.subplot, so we could see a little before and after. And plt. Dot, um, I'm show here. And we'll put in our image RGB. 
and then we'll have a plt dot subplot one two two and plot our new filtered image so image uh, filter and finally we'll show the image using the show function so if i run this we should see our bilateral filtered image here so notice that um, the details of the edge of the car is nicely preserved and the road is also nicely preserved um, but the floor the road got pretty smoothed out so that could be pretty useful and notice here if i if i were to decrease this sigma to a five you might see um, less filtering here okay so if i run this again you see that not much filter is happening right so you kind of play around with these values and see what's happening um, and you know if i if I try decreasing the D value, which is uh, less neighbor, let's take a look at what happens here. So if D is too small, you also don't see much filtering either. Okay, So um, if you zoom into the ground, though, you can see it kind of smooths out the ground. So it's a very subtle filtering that's happening, but that may be exactly what you need. So it's all about kind of tuning the parameters and seeing what works best for you. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.